Hey guys, Stylos from KO from UnitLoss.com and I've got a new microphone position because before I was not happy with the way my microphone sounded like this. You'll notice that I'm getting further away and then all of a sudden I'm getting louder again. So hopefully this should be better. Um, we have got, I believe people, we've got Frantic Fish, but yeah, we're actually looking at Frantic Fish. I am not colorblind, that is blue and it's not red. Frantic Fish is from the University of York and I believe this is a Group E game. Um, and we're on Shatter Temple and he is playing against the Red Zerg in the bottom position whereas Frantic Fish was over on the left. Here, uh, Mr. Zastra, or Mrs. Zastra, we just don't know, uh, is from the other place that would be University of London Team 1 or Team A. Whatever they want to say. Hey, way, hey, 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 hey. And I'll Either pass way, it over to my esteemed colleague, Mr. Kirioff. They're definitely from University of London. However, there is a chap who I believe is not from London but he is our sponsor. And despite the rumours, people have been saying stuff like this, he is a Harsh spring chicken. Rumors. Harsh rumours. Lads have been saying that Mr. Total Biscuit, our sponsor from cynicalgrit.com, is not a spring chicken, and he quite clearly is. And he's also sponsoring the tournament, so... Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good lord, harsh language. With a superior microphone position. So again, we find ourselves in this, this, well, this portion of the game where they're trying to feel each other out, but not in that way. And uh, they're trying to... Work out where each other are. That he's about to see an expansion. He's not going to be able to stop that. Nope. So Zastra drops down his expansion. Frantic Fish is flipping and floundering around because the water's all been drained away. Although he's not really easy bloke because why would he be in any kind of problem when he's clearly not in any issue? There's just an overlord floating over his base because we are in fact 2 minutes and 30 game seconds into the game. There is no way anybody can be beat at this part in the game unless you're playing the beater and you got SCV rushed and then that was bad times. Because the SCVs <laughs> were solid. I'm sure they were harder than every other single bloody worker unit and they could just bin everyone. I'm pretty sure they were. <laughs> the only thing that beats the SCV is the mule. <laughs> oh... The mule's that got eye. no attack though, some, but you're right, so it's not about the attack, is it? It's just about the eye. It's the all about the eye. The stare of the mule. I'm coming for you. It looks like, um, oh, what's it look like? Oh, what, what? Oh, no, it's escaped my mind. If anybody knows what was just happening in my mind, let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking the, the thing out of um, 2001 A Space Odyssey? No, no, I'm not. But it no. does kind of look like that though. In that case, I, I can't help you. <laughs> Got a low ground pylon going in for the frantic fish baby. He's got a, a that's not a complete wall in, is it? You'd be able to get zerglings through there, I think. Yeah. Zoom in for an added look. But I mean you could still get a goddamn drone in with the old filthy tricks. The tricks of the mineral path in. So yeah, that's I not mean been I, fixed, I, I, does it? I don't think it'll ever get fixed because I don't know how you could even fix it. I think I can't remember doing anything from these two players unless Kiriov can remember. Um because we've had, how many casts have we done now for this UK UTL? We've done shed loads, haven't we? More than 60. I can... <laughs> Something like that. Maybe that's... A... No, actually, the playlist will tell you. I don't think it's 60. That seems a bit crazy. Maybe 30? Oh, no, actually, I think we've missed a few out as well because um, like, there was an issue with the emails I got off Joey with um, going into my spam folder. So I only actually thought there were so many of one week and then it transpired. There were more. <laughs> Disgusting it was, son. He's chucking down his expansion anyway, Frantic Fishes. He's got his... He's cybernetic cordy out. He's researching warp gate. Oh, he's gonna smash that still does. Probe. Yeah, the, well, the thing is, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just so ingrained in builds, ain't it? And obviously, for the, the added deployment, the speed of deployment, maybe it's still worth it. But mm. I, I'm sure it is faster to um, just train units out of a normal gateway now. Considerably faster. Just that sentry is getting produced a lot quicker than I remember. Unless it's. Well, what's yeah, the change are, into the are. Zealot? No, it was, was it all the gateway units on it. I think it was all of the gateway units. I'm sure somebody will correct us. This is what happens when we try and talk statistics and stats when we're only here for the win. Oh, for the gang, for the pure gang. We've got a spine crawler. Combat. Got a spine crawler growing. Oh, yeah, growing. Look at that. Look at the little... Another spine crawler's coming oh. in. More tumours are being spread everywhere, which apparently in the news today, if you drink shed loads of coffee, then you will not get cancer. And then Kirioff dropped the bomb. You'll, in fact, get diabetes. If you get... So, I think it's it's... If you have too much of it, then it's like you, you almost get diabetes, but you could also just get heart disease or something like that. <laughs> it's something horrible. Either way, you can it's either drink time. loads of it and not get cancer, or not drink any of it and get cancer. Hallucinations on the way for Frantic Fish, and he's going for the level 1 weapons upgrade, um, and obviously he's done a, uh, 
a type of Forge expand, but it wasn't a pure Forge expand straight from the get-go because he messed around with all the bloody units out of gateways getting warped, like, and all that kind of funky good stuff, juicy dancing, Lucy gear. And um, <laughs> Four extractors had just gone down for Zaster, so he's suddenly gone very... Well, he's wanting this gas and he's wanting it now. He's turned into a gas beast. But what's he going to go for, son? What is he going to go for? Is he just going to go for the old Spire and build a billion mutilists? We just do not know. Hallucinations nearly done. The layer's on the way, so something sicking is going to happen. Hydras, maybe? With and he's got double mass... evolution chamber, so... Mm. Ah. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Robo Massive Bay's coming upgrades. down. Robo Bay! Or Robo Facility, even. Not the Robo Bay. Because you need the Robo Facility before their Robo Bay. And I just caught a Hallucinated Phoenix. Let's stalk the Hallucinated Phoenix. Where are you going, little man? Where are you going, little man? He's going to have a look in the Zerky's base, boss. I'm going to find out what's going on. He's uh, just, what's he caught there? He has caught a baling nest. Baling nest. He's going to catch the double evolution chambers. And uh, the layer morphing in, not warping in. Do not have the luxury of such fanta. Oh, and he's been killed. Poor lad. Poor hallucination. I don't know how you actually kill halluc <laughs> hallucination, but there you go. Uh, I've got no idea. I don't even know how they moved about. Because if you click on it, it's got a portrait of a pilot, but it can't possibly have a pilot because he doesn't exist. Shouldn't it have been called like an illusion or something instead of a hallucination or like a hologram? Because it's not, it's, it's not like it's just, a hallucination. It's something that happens in your brain when you're slightly crazed. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one on the way. It's a bit mad. Uh, a couple of Zerglings are not going to get any joy going in there, but there is a shady overlord hanging out in the back. He's just off the map. Look at him. But he's in no danger of getting smashed anytime soon. We've got immortals on the way. We've got more stalkers coming in. We've got the ventral sack, so we're going to see bailing bombing runs. Good lord. That's what we want to see. Love it. Absolutely I hope we're love see it. That anyway. Right, load of Zerglings on the way. Is, is he just going to completely bust through with a bunch of bailings when centrifugal hooks are done, do you think? Um, yeah, he could probably go for that. Force field placement's good, though. It could basically just count for nothing. Hmm. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen when they eventually roll in. But, I mean, if he does go for the drops, which is obviously getting the ventral sacks upgrade, there's no reason why he can't just drop bailings over, you know, in this region of Frantic Fish's base and just roll straight into his minerali line and blow the shit out of all the probes. Then he'd be in some big, big, bad problems there. Big trouble, big problems. Um, what's it? Little problems in big Chinatown. Big chop, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> big problem in little China. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> it didn't have... Uh, not Russell Crowe, who did it have in it in that film? Uh, Come on, son, you got to help me out here. A couple of Zerglings got smashed at the front. He's I going around know, the back to look at the Bat Rocks. It was, it was Russell, Kurt Russell, that was it. I knew oh, it was Russell yeah. someone. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at, son. The gold expansion is going down for Zastro. Uh, Zastro, even Zastro. I'll give him a, I'll give him a name. <laughs> a, a completely incorrect name. Because for some reason in my brain, it sounds far more hardcore. Do you want more? It's like Kirioff, apparently, he's so hardcore, he puts sugar on his frosties. I do. That is hardcore. I'll tell you something else, I'm so hardcore that when I watch Sky Plus back, I watch the adverts. Good Lord. <laughs> I bow down to you. <laughs> sugar on frosties has got nothing against that. <laughs> so loads Four infestors of, oh, on the way. That's going to be... Banelings. Good Lord. Problematic. On the way. We've got Burrow on the go as well, obviously for the infestors. Um, and uh, it looks like the hive's coming out as well. Probably for brood lords, maybe. Is he, I don't think he's even got the spire down, has he? Or has he? Mm, I was a too busy talking. It. No, he doesn't have the spire down. So maybe he's just going to go straight for the ultra den. Good lord, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the first Colossus is down. He's got 101 upgrades on his units as well. Frantic fishy baby has. We've got a Overlord with two bait. Oh no, two Infestors. <gasps> oh no, that'd be sickening on the probes. That would. Bit of fungal oh, growth. He needs oh, to drop them out. Oh god. Please drop him. Drop him. That, that oh, the cannon's oh. going to attack him, but he should just suicide him in. Go on, son. Don't retreat. Oh, Don't retreat no. from the cannon. Don't retreat oh, from the cannon. What's he doing? Oh my oh, god. god. That oh my god. Nine kills. Instant slayer for that one Infestor. To be fair, he did kill Snipe <laughs> off the other one. He's not, he's not too happy about it. Maybe he could have just waited for Burrow, you know, and just Burrow oh, no. down, because there's no detect there. Burrow, is Burrow, Frantic. Burrow, Burrow. It ain't oh, done no, yet, Burrow's bro. Not done, crazy it? No. bastard. He's like, do it, lads. He's not even been researched. It is crazy, that boy. I wanted him to live, because that, that was a daring assault, and it, it, it paid off big. Well, 
Yeah, it did. It did, it did pay, pay off, off big. Bit. Yeah, it was sickening. It was crushing. What's the income tab say? 49 to 40, obviously, so it's not massive, but look at the income difference. It's absolutely sickening for disaster. That's what happens when you get the gold, and the gold shines through some with its golden worth. Always believe in you, so. <laughs> Always believe. We're not going into that again. So, no. Frantic Fish is moving out now with his Protoss, Fable, Protoss, Death Ball, as everyone likes to call it. He does actually have an observer in the middle of the map. He needs to join that with his army because Burrow is going to be bad times for him. But he's not to know Burrow's coming. But maybe he's, maybe he's of the mind. Why is one Bailing being morphed? Seems a bit... I'm just going to morph one. Highly specific only, build. He only needs one. He's, he's two got there a as well. <laughs> he actually detonated. <laughs> he's not going to be too good for them Circle and Eddie to get the hell out of there. There's that many get, bloody... Well, oh, well there's Colossus and there's uh, other boys. Who the other lads with the Cybraids and Zealots? Side blades, even, and they love Zealot. Uh, they love Zergling Sun. They love giving him a bit of chopping, bit of a tickle. Just under the chin, bit of a tickle under the chin with a giant psychic knife. Oh, one more class is on the way as well. Here. We've got more banelings on the go, but he That's seems better. to have a bit of a. Uh, he, yeah, I mean, he's got infestors down and a lot of Zerglings, but. Against the, the Protoss army that's on the field at the moment, it can kind of clean up the Zerglings fairly easy. Yeah. And with force fields, it could easily uh, also deny the infestors any kind of range. I'm surprised we're not seeing any more tech. But then again, actually, Zaster is not star for gas, but he doesn't have as much as he could have. And that's going to that's gonna limit what he can put down next. If he wants ultras, he's going to have to wait a while. Yeah. But it has part of this. This could be quite bad, actually. Frantic Fish is moving straight in. He could get a few of the infestors there. That'd be a nice kill. Oh, he's, I think he's going to kill one. Two, two infestors have gone down. But decent force builds. He needs to kill out the other infestors, really. They're the expensive units. The Zergans yeah. will get killed anyway. He needs to focus. Come on, so focus him down. Two of them have escaped with absolutely no help. The Bane and Bombing Ooh. Run's coming in. It's doing a lot of damage, actually, that is. Yeah. Oh, I killed off a couple of sentries there. And Zalaxy, I think. Any mortal went down in that mess there. Yeah. But really, he can still push with that army. Ah, Frantic Fish should really have, have pushed in there and gone for the... Not for the jugular, because he would have been wiped out with the reinforcements coming in from Zastra. But he could have done a bit of damage there. Um, but then again, I suppose, you can't just throw your army away. Because then what the hell are you going to defend your base with? So maybe he is cleverer than me. I'm, I'm not saying he was, I was cleverer than, me, than him or he was cleverer than me anyway. I was just saying a possible strategy that involved going in like an absolute king and going for the win. The thing is, though, at that point, he hasn't got any detection over Zaster's base, and with the number of hatcheries that Zaster's got down, he, for all he knew, like a billion Zerglings could have just run in and annihilated what was left of his army. So backing off, it's a bit, it's a bit gash to watch. Like he probably could have pushed in, but it wasn't to know, was he? He could have no. just been swamped, like a, just a tide of orange. We've got a mass baneling morph in the north from uh, Zastra, and we have got an expansion being taken up the top left by the Protoss player now. That Zergling, uh, that Zealot there, he needs to maybe turn around. What is he doing? He's gonna, yeah, there we go, turn around. He'll clean them um, Zerglings out. I always get Zerglings and Zealots mixed up. It's bad times in my brain. So there's a load of Banelings up the north. The question is, what's he gonna do? Is he just gonna wait until that expansion gets up and running? Although there is a, a pile on there, so he's probably gonna cannon block that maybe. But there's no reason why the Banelings couldn't break through that. But it's yeah. not exactly the most cost-effective thing to be doing. He's going for the, well, he's going for Zerg missile attacks level three. I know it was melee attacks. I think I see missile attacks. The Ultraist Caverns come down as well. Let's just check. No, no missile attacks. I was off my head. It was just the melee attacks. So he's going to deny that expansion there. Looking at the income tab, it's greatly in favour of Zastra. And he has loads more harvesters over Frantic Fish as well. We've got no, War Prism not. on the go as well. Maybe that's kind of just out of desperation of Frantic Fish. I don't know. But then again, he's not really in a super desperate position at the moment. But he really needs to get down there and do some damage to Zastra. Zerglings moving in there, not high, not very advisable, but he does have Burrow, and I don't think there's any Observer. Oh, there is an Observer, actually, so... But he's not to know the Banelings are over there. If he did, he could move over there and absolutely shovel a lot of them. It looks like he's going to move over there anyway. This could be quite bad, be quite painful. They it have could. moved, but they're going to get detected by that. Oh, oh, oh no. That oh, my God. That was a, a premature detonation there, son. Oh, that was very, yeah. He would have been better off just unburring them and fleeing them towards him in the vague hope the one of them hit. Yeah, I think he just anticipated the army moving on top of him and got a bit excited and detonated him. That has cost him quite a lot, really, because he's still only got infestors. 
And he has got Ultralis on the way. I think one just completed and another one. Looking at the units tab, we have got... No, we don't actually. Not built yet. But he's, he's got, got a massive them. drone lead as well. So he can replace his forces dead quick. He's got a massive income. But he has yeah. loads of minerals and gas in the bank as well. Which is not a bad thing at this stage in the game. He's... I think his reliance on Zerglings is still... And I know you need a good amount of Zerglings, no matter what you're on. Warp is dropping some Zealots into the main this after, but they're getting... Well, they've got a thousand Zerglings to deal with, and I don't think they... Uh, no, they had no answers to that. <laughs> <laughs> what was you saying anyway, Mr. Kirioff? I was just thinking he's... he's Zaster's got, I think, just a, too many Zerglings. I mean, I know you need a lot of them, but it's like they're not going to do anything really against that force. Although, having said that, actually, there's 125. So, I suppose... If you get a certain mass of them, it goes from having too many to having more than enough. Well, if, he, if Frantic Fish can engage him, not in the open like that, because that's well, they need to back off the Zerglings. Yeah. If he can invade, uh, engage him in some kind of choke point and basically deny the Zerglings access to his army with force fields, or maybe even um, you know split them in half or do something like that, then the Zerglings will just get wiped out. Mm. I mean, the, the sheer DPS off that number of Zerglings will be ridiculous anyway. I mean, the only issue they've got is they all have to be around a target to attack, so only a certain amount of them can actually attack. He's doing the right thing, turning them into Banelings. They'll be more effective. That's that. I mean, that's the worry I have when I see... So, well, basically, when I see... The warp is set up on the right-hand side, and it's starting to warp in some Zealots now. They've basically got free mm -hmm. reign on this hatchery. How many is he warping in? He's warping in five. That should be enough to get over there and put some pressure on. Now, maybe he could use this. Now, he could probably move his army. His army's too far away there, but if he moved his army into a position to intercept all these uh, Zerglings, which th that would inevitably go over there, then he could do some damage. But I think he's going to take the hatchery out anyway before the Zerglings manage to kill the Zealots. It's going to be quite close, actually. Yeah, yeah. You know, but five five Zealots is 500 mineral. A hatchery yeah. is not 500 mineral, so it's not really worth it. And there it has no moved his army losses. though, so and he looks like he's moving down there as well, Frantic Fish. Looking at the army values as well, Zastra's army value is just it's, it's superior. He's in a commanding position, you might say. The I think yeah, he's got wind of it. <laughs> I think Zastra sort of feels that something's going down. Something's going and down. Something's going down. Big star. Some we've got a massive baneling drop coming in. Where, well, we've got be... a massive baneling drop, but where where's it, where the baneling drop's going to go? We just don't if know. The, if that connects in a battle just after the infestors get fungal growth off to prevent them running away, that could be absolutely crushing. Hundreds of zerglings are moving into the top left expansion for Frantic Fish. They're going to totally wipe that out. Frantic Fish is moving his army. It looks like he was banking on that there, Zastra, because he's now moving in from the other side. So we're going to have a. A surround coming in. This is going to be quite bad. One of the Ultralists has been smashed. Fungal Grove's gone down on the cross of units. Doesn't do that much damage against the Storms. They have removed the shield. The Baneling bombing one's coming now. Oh, it's going to be sick damage. That's Loads good. Loads of units Lord. are getting smashed and ripped apart. <laughs> blown up and sickening three bombs. Oh, dear. And there's just way too many there for Frantic Fish to handle off Zastra. So the game goes to yeah. Zastra. So it looks like Zastra takes the win. Zastra is from the University of London. Yep, Team 1, University of London, Team 1. And that was a Group E match. So remember to check out Cynical Brit. Check us out. Uh, unit Lost. Subscribe to us. Follow us on Twitter. Do all that amazing good stuff. And we'll uh, see you next time too, Lou.